An update to a critical issue we've been shining a light on for months. Problems with false positive results for newborn health screening, sometimes for life altering conditions. The state health department announced today they're making changes to the way they process those tests. News 4's Ashley Moss has been following this since day one. Ashley. Well, Kevin and Jolene, those blood splat screenings are required for every baby born in Oklahoma. And if you remember, several families came to us worried and confused after getting a false positive. But there's hope for those families after the news from the state's public health lab. I was relieved. I was excited that it finally happened. The more I thought about it, quite honestly, the more angry I got that they put, put families through hell because they didn't do what they needed to do. While the state's public health lab previously told K4 they don't track false positives in the roughly 50,000 newborn screenings they do each year, Monday they reversed course, saying they'll send out-of-range screens for three genetic conditions in particular to external labs, saying, quote, the addition of second-tier testing provides more specific screening results and reduces false positive rates. That news after alarming results, including the detection of 72 cases of XALD in just one month, according to state health department records. Even though the condition is so rare, the department should have only identified one case in a year. It's been almost exactly nine months since first-time mom Maggie Pierce told K4 she received abnormal results for her baby not once, but twice. There was still something, you know, that wasn't right on her lab work. And we don't have why. Also, after mom Sarah was asked to do another cheek swab and blood draw on her infant by herself. There was a huge lack of communication. If I wasn't on top of it, it would have been a bigger mess. The grandmother, who spent more than a year looking for answers after her granddaughter was falsely screened, says this is an outcome she's been hoping for all along. They did not have the experience to manage a lab. It was obvious by looking at the numbers that they were wonky, <laughs> for lack of a better term. And no one seemed to care. By the way, this news follows the announcement of a brand new public health lab director. We're told Dr. Rachel Lee also currently serves as a member of the Association of Public Health Laboratories Newborn Screening Committee.